Welcome, Welcome to Your Anime Senpais. Senpais. I'm Richard. And I'm John. And John, today we're going to be watching and reacting to Fire Force Season 2, Episode 5. So, last episode, we kind of had a little bit of a power struggle here. We had, on one side, we had Shinra. Mm -hmm. The other side, we had Charon of the Evangelists. And in the middle, we have what is potentially the fifth pillar in Inca. Mm -hmm. So, Shinra, on his side, he's trying to play the uh, whole superhero thing you're like hey i'm here to save you inca but she's not really having any of that she's just like you know what i like danger i'm not i'm not really i'm not <laughs> too need saving yeah i'm not too interested in the fire brigade so so then we have charon he's like you know hey come with us you know we'll remake the world uh, you know etc cetera, etc cetera. typical evangelist type thing and she's not really all about that either so charon and was potentially a bad move on his side. Uh, he basically just orders his people to just capture her and, and mm. you know kidnap her, and she's not really all about, all about that either. Even though she's, you know, fond of danger, and yeah. she's in a dangerous situation. She doesn't want to be captured, so it's like, what what are we doing here, Inca? What do, what do you want? What do you want from this, all this? So, I don't know how that whole thing is going to end up with her, because you know I think we talked about it last time where it's like. Maybe she'll end up with the fire brigade because they they go into danger a lot. But at the yeah. same time, the evangelists are the cause of the danger. So, and, and I mean, they're kind of distracted right now with the huge outbreak of infernals. And, right. Yeah. And I think there was even a demon. Yeah. Something so, like that. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's... So they're they're quite busy with all that, and the other brigades are showing up. The other companies. And, yeah, that's true. And I mean, we have all this stuff going on, and then there's this small little struggle that we really need to address in this issue or episode yeah. issue so yeah i mean it's actually kind of funny that they uh made that uh kind of like a point was she had to pick she had to you know be swayed one way or the other when really she's just like nah. i don't want to go i don't want to go either one either way i just want to do my own thing i'm gonna keep blackmailing people i guess yeah whatever so yeah, I'm curious to see how this is going to go. Maybe we'll get the answer to that question this episode. So let's find out. Oh, uh, yeah. Arthur and his surprise attack. Forgot about that. I thought she had escaped at the end of the last episode. I could be wrong. No, I think she she just got... <laughs> oh. <laughs> no effect. Oh. Yeah, but he's still got his oh. rock power that he's still got to use, right? Mm. Yeah. Uh, he hasn't done that. Yeah. I, I forgot to talk about that, too, actually. Yeah, he's a rock, so this you got to use your rock rock. power. You're not. And then he tried that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. mm. And she's still there. They yeah. still haven't kept like taken her taken her away. I oh, slipping. Oh, okay. Yeah. Here's where he. Yeah. He's gonna do it again. But he's not doing it now. Oh. Hmm. Maybe. Okay. A little bit of strategy. Oh. Hmm. Okay. So, what is he then? He's just going to be like, oh, yeah, I'll tell you. Sure. Why not? Corner. Oh. Sign of the devil. Sign of the devil. That's, that's the sign of the devil? I guess so. What? Yeah. Rock music is the devil. Apparently. <laughs> Oh, this is the, uh, that's the demon, right? Yeah. I guess, uh, I guess I haven't taken care of him yet. I figured he'd be pretty easy since they have so many right. companies there. 
so convenient. It's so nice to see ice and all this fire. Mm -hmm. I feel like ice in this world would be super effective. Yeah, because almost everything is fire based, which right. is like really, really, I don't know, just kind of gets old after a while. Mm. Is this their first time meeting? Um, either that or maybe he's just kind of reevaluating it in his head mm. as to what it does. I don't know. Because he did team up with them in the first season. Oh, okay. About, uh, about finding out the bugs or whatever, I think. Mm. Okay, so he's not... Oh, are you serious? Hmm. Really? Huh. So what are you going to do with that information, though? That's a pretty good ability, though, to turn, uh, turn it around on somebody else. Right. What? Don't just stand there. Well, yeah, he's trying to figure out what he can do, though. Like, but like dodge, you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Dodge. It's gonna be one of those things where he's like, gonna overpower him with such a huge attack. It's just gonna. Blow through his counterattack, I guess. <laughs> oh, or he could just do that. Build up. He's gonna build up from that. Like he could actually, Shinra. Shinra could actually just take Inca right now. He could if he were smart. Yeah. So is he gonna convert all that? Okay. Kami hami ha. <laughs> kind of. Ooh. Stab. The, come on, Shinra. <laughs> he literally just took it to the face. Uh, like, <laughs> seriously? Come on, dude. This is like the worst battle setup I had ever seen. Kind of. I, I thought there was going to be something way better than this happening. What is this magic the gathering? Counter your counter? <laughs> just uh, just depends on where you attack at in the stack. Uh, I guess so, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, he was doing that in his mind. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give him credit though. At least he's uh. Okay. He's pretty resilient. <laughs> Did he mess up his timing? Hmm. <laughs> How are you going to psych yourself up? But... <laughs> Gotta go faster. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Ah. <laughs> uh... And she's like, what is going it's like, on? Wow, this is amazing. I've never seen someone just beat themselves up. <laughs> what did he even teach me about this sign? I was going to say, are we going to have a flashback now lesson? Actually, I can't do it with this hand, so I'm going to do it with this hand. Inspire your heart. I mean, I guess that's hmm. sure. I'm a hero. Yeah. Hmm. 
<laughs> Wait, when did this take place? <laughs> well, it is far in the future. Oh, okay. As far as I remember. I was going to say, yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Like, just the way that he positioned his hand. Mm -hmm. Now or never. What happened to that super speed from, like, the last episodes of I think the first season? I think he's kind of running out of steam. Hmm. Combo. Okay, that's fair. And then <laughs> Oh, oh wow, she's oh, seeing okay. that. Okay, so she can see all the energy and things. It's kind of cool. Oh, wow. Wow. Mm. Wow. <laughs> wow. And I bet you this is going to make her want to join their team now. Mm. Maybe. But he's got to be like... <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, that was good. That best episode. <laughs> the reflector. But he's got to be out of energy by now, man. He's like. Do you really want to mess with him? Yeah. I was gonna, well. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 yikes. Oh, oh, man. But he, oh, man. That was impressive, a... but evidently not, not near enough. Right. Wow. Hmm. I don't think that was going to work. Hmm. Oh, really? Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. So we wow. need those guys here. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> He's like, oh, who cares about those guys? <laughs> what? What's going on? So they're going to divert all the fire from everywhere and... Yeah, that's a good point. How are you gonna? How are you gonna fire bend all that fire yeah. into that? <laughs> hmm. I feel like Licht is actually, you know, he's genuinely trying to help. I still don't can't figure out if he's a bad guy or a good guy, but at least in this situation, I feel yeah. like he's genuinely trying to help. Or at least he just doesn't want to die. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> I guess that's true. Hmm. Hmm. 
Okay. By himself. I mean, it's convenient that the demon is just standing there. While right. They... While they're planning on and doing all this stuff. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, they're going to use the flames and engulf him in flames and then freeze him? Oh, have him extinguish all those flames and turn that amount of fire into ice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that is true. And, and towns are our streets where the wind blows pretty good. It's a good thing you just... Hmm. It's a good thing no one's there. Oh, okay. Hmm. Gotcha. Hey, she got her clothes back on. No, no, this is <laughs> that, that's mocking, not oh, mocking. My bad. Yeah. Yep. There you but, go. But okay. Hopefully. Okay. He's like walking really funny. Yeah, what is this? <laughs> is it his uniform? Uh, maybe. Hmm. A fire tornado? Ooh. Fire nado? That looks nice. Fire storm. It's right there. It's a good thing he said witch, not uh, gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. How are you going to get that thing in there? <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, come like on, come on, that. come on. Oh, uh, oh man, that would have been awesome if he did that. That would have been really bad, though, if he threw him into the firestorm. But he's, like, super tough. It'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if she could actually just move the firestorm over. No, because of the wind. Mm. But they're going to use that. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to use that? Why, why not? Hmm? Oh. Are you not I figured they were just going to ram it. But, uh, That's what I thought too. Hmm. What is the demon doing? Like, what's going on, guys? <laughs> <clears throat> hmm. Watch the demon <laughs> move. Yeah, come on, hit the button. <laughs> is is the safety on? <laughs> what are you Come doing? On. Is he? He can't do it. Like, is it is it not working? Hmm. Is he afraid of? <laughs> oh, really? I know. Just put. Hmm. 
<laughs> Just do it yourself. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> Jeez. We're just ramming in there, man. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Now shoot. Yeah. <laughs> Was it really that hard? Was it really that hard? Really, the the matchbox did a backflip after it. Well, that's why that's why it has to have the things in the ground. <laughs> uh... Okay. So now what? Are you gonna freeze it? Oh, interesting. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, wow. Ooh. Wow. A lot of tone, I guess. <laughs> you, you, you did good. Whoa. So nice. did, you, did you get it? Hmm. Hopefully they got it. I really hope so, because, man. Wow. Oh, wow. To last a lifetime. Hmm. <laughs> well, but they, they had, uh, one of them had to sacrifice a lot, though. Hmm, that's true. That's also true. That It hmm. actually destroyed their city, too, so... Well, not just the eighth. It was a bunch of different people. But, you know, the eighth. <laughs> yeah. Let's hey, get back now to we that can all focus on them. No, like, help them out. Please. <laughs> Wonder what? Uh... <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh no! Did he? Did you earn his respect? Yeah, but he can counter that now. I'm sure. <laughs> All right, John. So, how'd you feel about the episode? Um, I, I liked it. I, th I think it was a pretty good episode. I think. Uh... That there were parts of it I think I liked better than the last episode. Mm -hmm. Kind of a, a give and take. There were some parts I liked more of the last episode. Um, we got we definitely got more of the Shinra and Charon fight. You know, it was pretty well took over a majority of the episode. But I don't know. I kind of felt like uh, we were seeing him struggle to figure out how to overtake him. And we had that moment where he beat him right like he finally but, got the upper hand but it, it turned out to be charon is still such a overwhelming character right. that yeah that was the first time i guess he's ever been hurt yeah so now you know now we're going to, have to go to that next level where he's gonna to have to maybe do it again or whatever yeah and uh so i don't i don't know um inca's definitely loving all the craziness that's going on so <laughs> That's maybe I, in the favor of the fire force. I guess maybe, okay. but it's really hard to tell because she's just kind of all over the place. Though she's like, I don't know what's going on, but I love it, and I'm crazy, and I like <laughs> being crazy. It's like okay. I'm still surprised those two guys are holding on to her because I thought all of them ran over, and started beating up Charon well, to power him up. No, no, like he's got a whole bunch of people, but I'm surprised they still got her and haven't like 
taken her taken away. Her away. You know, yeah. like why keep her there for the battle? You know, because typically I'll... the evangelists are kind of like uh, guerrilla warfare. They'll, they'll come and they'll strike, and then they're gone before they right. can even counter attack. Yeah. It's like now they're just hanging out. Like, hmm, well, we got all day. Almost like generic villains. I hate to say that, but it's like, oh well, let's just watch this fight, guys, and hold on to this prisoner that we're supposed to be capturing. And it's like, yeah, like before, I was like, wow, these guys are like pretty, pretty, you know, slippery because yeah. they can never catch them. And now they're just hanging out. I'll you know, uh, Han Han May or whatever is up there. Like, yeah. oh, I can't send signals. I gotta continue fighting Arthur for whatever reason instead of getting away and. Uh, well, you know, I don't think Arthur would let her get away. That's the thing. So. Well, I mean, I, I would have. Well, I would figure she's more agile, possibly on rooftops and maybe what, whatever. Unless Arthur just gets into his delusional state, of course. So. It's true. It's true. But uh, yeah, I mean, overall, I liked it. I, I I can't really say too much bad about it. Um, it wasn't like an amazing like whoa, right. you know. It, well, I think away. the firestorm. The fight, firestorm, yeah, that was yeah. pretty nice, and that, that, I, I think it was really cool. Yeah, I, so I kind of feared that they were going to use the firestorm to turn the ice or whatever to. I thought to capture yeah. it, to capture the demon, but I didn't even consider using it as like a rail gun for the bullet to <laughs> to pierce it. So, yeah, of course, at that point though. Why even freeze the firestorm then? Like, why even? Well, that was because after they defeated the demon, so oh, the fire yeah, didn't yeah, that's just right. go everywhere. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, gotcha. Now. But, uh, but yeah, I, I'd kind of thought, you know, because in the flash, you know, in the flashbacks at how they had previously beat demons, they were like, oh, they overwhelmed them with fire ability. So I thought, oh, a town full of fire, they're going to channel all this yeah, fire. Yeah, exactly. Maybe have dude ring his bell. Take the entire town's worth of fire and just ice spike them or something. Right, or yeah. But no, they uh, they just yeah use it as a rail gun, which I was like, hmm. I mean, no, that was that was awesome because okay. I didn't even I didn't even consider that. I just thought again, I, yeah. I thought they were just going to use it to surround the demon and then just capture, freeze it, and then that'd be it. Yeah, freeze. Yeah, like whenever they said they were going to use his ability, I figured ice was going to be involved in beating him. Yeah. Not, not you know wrapping it up or whatever right. containing it but uh you know with second generations being able to manipulate fire i kind of even thought they would take that amount of fire and just focus it like get them into the tornado and just like you know yeah, bind yeah. It up that too, yeah. and just you know over overwhelm them like with fire like they had talked about but really well I'm just going to go ahead and assume that the demon's defeated. Yeah, I, I, mean, I think so, yeah. It didn't have like a, oh, everything's safe and sound and, you know, we can go away now. It's, right. you know, they're still kind of like, oh, whew, that, yeah, they're, glad they're, that's over. Yeah, they're like pretty worn out, which is sad because then you've got Shinra who's also worn out and he still hasn't been able to fulfill his object- objective yet. So, yeah, it is what it is, I guess. But, um, you know, I, I, I kind of agree with you a little bit. Um I, I like this episode a lot more than I did last episode, but okay. I still don't feel like I got enough Shinra versus Charon fight because you said it took a uh, majority of the episode, but it didn't really feel like it to me. It felt like the demon took a majority of this episode with them trying to figure oh. out how to plan, how, what to do with the fire and all this other stuff. And mm, I was just like, okay. oh my gosh, just get back to the actual yeah. fight that I want to see. I mean, really, I guess it wasn't even really the fight. It was more they focused on... Whenever they were at the fight, it was more Shinra like, well, how do I use this Korna yeah, ability? Yeah. And him going through flashbacks and his trial and error. Right, and then him and, trying to basically figure out what Charon is. And yeah, like what, what generation he is. But in the last episode, that, that it was more impressive whenever Charon made those, you know, epic steps. Yeah. And was blowing up the ground around him and, you know, all this other stuff. And I was like, whoa, what is going to happen? Right. And then we went from that epic scene to like, oh, he's just... Taking his fire and, you know, reflecting it back at him. Right, essentially. Well, okay. he's, he's building up the kinetic energy from the b- different physical blows. It kind of reminds me of uh, a Bishop from X-Men. But I think mm. with Bishop, it was actually energy blast that he would absorb and then throw back at him. Mm-hmm. Whereas Charon, uh, it's, it's physical kinetic energy that he's building up and then using that as his firepower. His little yeah. firepower. Yeah. So... Um, it's it's still a very interesting ability though, and, and um, it does obviously pose a great challenge for Shinra, who 
really focuses on or relies on his speed for the most part uh, up until this episode, anyways. Yeah. Uh, relies on his speed to just come in, you know, you know, kick somebody or, or whatever, and then get in, get out type of type of thing. So, yeah. uh, and it's also made Shinra really kind of, you know, really plan his moves now because we didn't really mm. s- didn't really seem like we saw that from Shinra. He's again, he's kind of the guy that just comes in and does whatever and then gets out. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So it, it, it to me it, it adds a little bit more of a little, layer. Bit, a little more character growth I guess right yeah a little bit more depth to his character mm-hmm. so yeah. I, and I appreciate that but that being said though I still as much as I loved him like being like rock and roll or whatever <laughs> like I, st- I still wanted more of that fight and I don't know now that we're done with the demon fight hopefully next episode you know fingers crossed hopefully next episode we'll we'll actually see the resolution too. I mean, may, maybe Obi and them will come over and give him a hand. I don't know. Possibly. Um, it's Teach really him hard. how to better focus the corner. I don't know. Yeah. Or, 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 uh, Benny Maru or somebody from his squad might come in and help him too. Because even though, uh, <laughs> even though he called ben, uh, Benny Maru and, and them, uh, you know, they, he said like they didn't pick up or yeah, something. Yeah, they didn't they answer didn't, their phone. They didn't answer their phone. <laughs> that, that, they may have like still caught on to the wind of the situation. Maybe mm. they might be on their way. They're just a little bit late. I don't know. Yeah. But uh, that being said, though, I think I would prefer no one really help Shinra because I want Shinra to actually take this victory. I want him mm. to like actually beat Sharon. Maybe not necessarily rescue uh, uh, Inca. Maybe I don't know, yeah. but at the very least, beat Sh- Sharon so that he can actually. Uh, master his new skill and then hopefully mm. use that for future fights. Okay. And yeah. I mean, we're already uh, at episode five, so next episode is episode six. So we're almost halfway through the season. Uh, this- Actually, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. This is a 24 episode season, so. Oh, okay. So never mind. That's well, good. at the very least. Um, or a quarter of the way. Yeah. So. Still. But um, but we're still going through content pretty fast. So it's like, you know, I, I want I want him to. To grow and use this power because obviously we're gonna have more enemies to come. So, mm-hmm. um, hmm. but yeah, that'll give him like another, another power, another ability for him to come in with, and well, we'll see what happens with that. But uh, yeah. yeah, but yeah, I, I'm I'm really really wanting to see the end of this fight. I want to see where Shinra goes, and also really want to know where Inca goes because she's still, like we talked about, going back and forth and we're still not really sure what she wants to do. So, uh, I did think it was neat how I did talk about battle tactics and how uh, to kind of throw off an enemy, somebody will uh, just come in and kind of play everything real large to kind mm. of throw off you know, am, am I a second generation? Am I a third generation? Right, what, yeah. You know, what, what can I do? You mm-hmm. know, you need to stay away or yeah, you know, yeah, just yeah. kind of scare them off. And really, I was, you know, I, that didn't even cross my mind. I was like, oh, this dude, you know, everyone has fire abilities. Yeah, so, right. you know, in some way or another, I was like, well, what does it matter? But, yeah, it, it kind of does because right. he can't really make fire or whatever. He just manipulates it. So, right. I guess technically he kind of does because, again, he does build up the yeah, yeah. energy. So, but he still needs assistance. It's not like he can just, like Shinra, like, just automatically do it. He's, he's got to have some outside assistance somehow or another. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, you're right. I actually didn't even think about that either. It's just like. And I kind of wonder how that's going to play in the future if they're going to make a special note of that up front. Right. And, and also that kind of plays into Inca too because if she actually is a fourth generation as she mm. like, as she said a couple episodes ago. So what does that imply for, for the future of the, I guess, um, of this civilization? Like if, hmm. what is the fourth generation going to bring in that the third and second and first? never really did so hmm. i mean i know she's got the whole you know winding yeah. path thing that she does but uh how does that play in the larger picture i hmm. guess we'll have to wait and see yeah so any other any other thoughts uh no no okay so guys what did you think of this episode and what do you think of shinra's rock and roll let us know down in the comments below and if you enjoyed this reaction Definitely subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell to keep up with our content. And check out our Patreon because we would really appreciate your support. And we'll see you in the next episode. Let's home.